Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you all had an amazing week. Those of you tuning in for the first time, welcome. I am Wizards Grace and my channel is 100% dedicated to everything Harry Potter and DIY. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe as well as follow me on Instagram. I would really appreciate that. So guys, I am really excited about today's video. Like I mentioned in last week's video and on Instagram, this is the display for the dragon eggs. So most probably you guys can already guess what this display is going to look like. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. But yeah, this is the packing board. Uh, all of this is cut from 3mm MDF. Um, and both this file, which is a coral draw file, and the other printing file, uh, which is a PDF file, is available for download for free. So those links are in the description down below, so you guys can just check that out after you've watched the video. So this is the backing board. This goes against your wall or in your display. I think mine is going to end up in my Fantastic Beast display because I think the eggs are going to look really cool uh with the magical creatures uh, but yeah i can still change my mind and luckily with all of this um you can kind of change your displays very often um but yeah so this is the backing board there i have put in two holes that you can use to put screws in your wall or in the display uh, the reason why i used two is that this is going to be fairly heavy um, and using one it might tip it to one side so you have to do both um, and yeah so this is the backing board then I made these little loops um, and basically they're going to fit into each one of these holes um, and the egg is basically going to sit on top of each loop um, these loops I made them a lot longer than what they should be um, the reason for that is not all my eggs are the same um, and yeah I wasn't sure beforehand and because this is also a downloadable um, file for you guys you might choose to make bigger eggs um, or smaller eggs who knows so yeah I didn't want to make them too short because yeah you want to display them the way that you want to and I think having a bit of space at the back it's just gonna look a lot better than having everything kind of right against the back um, so yeah you can choose how long you're gonna cut these off if you personally want to make them different depths you can do that too um, really it's up to you it's your project and you can do whatever you want to so that's just what I'm gonna do then I have these little um, name tags um, you will see in a bit when I show you the um, prints. Um, so each egg's name is going to be on one of these name tags. Um, and then this big one is then going to be the heading that goes at the top. So that is the extent of that. This is the print. Um, so yeah, I thought a lot about this display. I thought a lot about what's going to be the best way, what's going to look the best. And I always came back to Jim K's original illustration. And that just, I just love that. I love that style. It just looks really cool. And with the eggs, it just works. Um, so I decided to stick with his illustration and kind of keep it as close to what he did as possible. Um, so I redid the backing. I absolutely love this border. It does give you a lot of like, dragon vibes um, and yeah I love the old paper style it, it really just it looks really cool um, so that is the backing boards and then these are all the name tags and then you've got your heading here so like I mentioned I'm going to cut out each one of these and I'm going to paste them onto the corresponding name tag uh, so yeah all these name tags are different lengths um, so you can just double check which one goes with which one um, before you paste them. Um, so that's that. And yeah, guys, that's basically that's basically it. Um, before I go on, I did paint this beforehand. Um, I painted the side of the backing board with gold paint. I think that's just going to look really cool. But like I said, you can paint these 
whichever way you want. Um, I didn't want to keep them black. Um, I thought it was going to look maybe too dark on the side. So I decided to go with the gold. And then the back, I have already painted that with varnish. Um, you don't have to. Um, but where I live, you kind of have to varnish everything because it does get really hot and very humid. Um, so yeah, and speaking about the humidity, with the Mod Podge, you guys know I have used this a million times, so I'm not going to drag on about it. Um, but with the Mod Podge, I am going to stick the print onto the backing and then I'll give it one coat and I will give these about three coats, I think, in the end. Um, and I will wait 24 hours in between coats um, because it is so humid. If you live in a place where it's not that humid, you can give it maybe four hours in between coats. Um, so yeah, all in all, this is a very quick project. Um, and if you can do your coats every four hours, it's going to be even quicker. So yeah, it's going to be a fun project. I'm really excited about this and I'm really excited to see what the eggs look like on this when it's done and yeah i am really excited so yeah guys again i'm gonna do a time lapse as the, you guys can more or less just see what i did if you guys have any questions or if i didn't mention anything that you want to know please leave a comment down below um i love it when you guys leave comments that way we can start a conversation and it also helps me to decide what type of videos um, I should do in future. Um, so yeah, if you have any suggestions, also guys, please leave that in the comments down below or send me a DM. If you wanna speak to me directly, send me a DM on Instagram and yeah. So guys, let's get to it and yeah. Mm -hmm. Before I start with my first layer of Mod Podge, I have to cut out all these little um, rectangles. So how I'm going to do that is this is a light box. Uh, so this was a light box that I used while I was studying. Um, but you can use any light source over a piece of glass or anything like that. If you are doing this during the day, you can always put it against a window. It will work just as well. Um, so yeah, this is just basically to see where all the rectangles are. The reason why I don't make actual rectangles uh, on the print itself is because you, yours might not line up 100% and then it's going to look odd. Uh, so I decided to leave the rectangles on the print and then just cut it like this. Um, so this is going to be the easiest. Okay guys, so the next step is going to be to fit all these little loops in. The reason why I'm going to do that now is because I'm scared that if I Mod Podge everything, when it goes into these little holes that I'm not going to be able to get these in. Um, so yeah, I know that's going to make um, painting these a bit more difficult, um, but I think in the long run, fitting these now is going to work a bit better than doing it afterwards. Um, so yeah, so next we have to see how long these are gonna be. So the easiest way to do that is to put your little ring on a flat surface and take your widest egg and place it onto the loop. 
then all you do is you kind of take your backing board and you move it to where you think it should be um, and then obviously you will um, draw your line on the other side because remember a piece is still going to be the width of this backing board. So the next step is going to be to glue all of these into their own little hole. How I'm going to do that, they've all been cut like you can see. I have cleaned up all the holes um, as best I can. Um, and then I'm just going to use normal carpenter's glue um, to glue them in. Next step is going to be to turn this around. And then I'm just going to take masking tape. Cut off a little piece and glue each hole closed. That way when I paste them from the front, the glue won't come out on the other side. Um, so this just keeps it a bit cleaner um, so that you don't end up sticking your, your project um, to your wax surface. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna close all of them up um, and like I said, contact wise, these cure, the glue cures in about 20 minutes. Um, so from gluing them in, I'll give it about half an hour and then I will remove the masking tape. Um, because yeah, you also don't want the masking tape to sit there too long because obviously it's going to fully cure overnight. Um, so yeah, you want to take this off about 20 minutes to 30 minutes after you have glued them in so that's done so now i just turn it around then the next step very easy um, i'm just going to put a little bit of glue onto each end you don't have to use a lot um, i normally this glue is almost finished i use about this much that should be enough you don't want to use too much um because yeah it's just gonna pop out on either side so if you just add a tiny bit to it you can clean it up afterwards but that is more or less uh, how much i'll use on each one so next you just basically put it into the hole so like I mentioned these do go in really tightly so what you can do is you can just take your index finger on the back and as soon as you feel the this little thing coming out on the other side you stop um, because obviously you want this still to be flat um, so yeah you can't see it on this but I can feel it there um, and that should be fine um, and like you can see there there's a little bit of glue coming out on on the sides so you can just use your nail and just clean it up um, on either side luckily for this glue it does cure very well um, so it's normally like a see-through white color um, so you won't see it anyway um, but it's really easy to to clean up going to glue all the name tags on so I have done all the layers for the Mod Podge um, and we are basically done so I've double checked all the name tags <laughs> just to make sure um, because yeah you don't want to, to, to glue these in in the wrong places 
Um, there is, however, one or two snags with this display. Um, and yeah, my Hebridean black egg is too big, which is very sad. <laughs> And I think it's going to bother me in the long run, but I'm just going to leave it like that um, and see if it bothers me too much, I can just remake it in the end. Um, so yeah, as a note for you guys, I would suggest if you plan on doing this project, I would suggest doing um, this display first um, and then having your measurements. So then you know how, how tall or how wide you can go with your eggs. Um, because yeah, you don't want to remake stuff uh, this does take a lot of time, so yeah, you don't want to do it twice. You would rather, much rather, I would much rather spend that time on new projects. Um, so yeah, so I just also want to show you guys this. Um, so I normally use Mod Podge, um, but I ran out of this halfway through, so I carried on with um this, which is a lacquer, satin clear lacquer. Um, I've never used it before. Uh, they're both water-based, so you can use them on top of one another. Um, and yeah, I've never used this before, but this has... Yeah, I, I love this. Um, usually with Mod Podge, it has a thicker consistency. So if you brush it on, it has... You can kind of see the strokes of that the paintbrush makes. Um, whereas this is like a super smooth finish. Um, it's very much watery than the Mod Podge. Um, and yeah, the finish, I absolutely love the finish because it's almost like glass. Um, so yeah, I will definitely be using this again. This is from Petit Rouge. Um, and we bought this at a local shop of ours. I think this is a South African brand, to be honest. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I love this stuff and I'm definitely going to use, use it again. So the glue I'm going to use for this is going to be, again, just my trusty wood glue. Um, the backings are all still just plain wood. Um, so even though the surface is really smooth, um, I think it will still adhere properly, um, to that. So guys, this is what the display looks like in the end. And I am absolutely, absolutely in love with it. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, the lighting, I do apologize for the lighting, but we have zero sun today. And um, so I'm trying to light this up the best that I can. <laughs> but head on over during the week to my Instagram as I will be putting up uh, better pictures um, of this. Um, but yeah, I do love this. I haven't affixed it to the back yet because I still want to change this whole display. Um, so I will be affixing it at a later date. But yeah, I am really, really happy with how this turned out. Um, let's look at the bottom part, then we work our way in or to the top. So this is the bottom. And there we go. Like you can see that Hebridean black, it is too big, but it's okay. I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference. Uh, if it does bother me way too much, then I'll just change it in the end. But yeah, guys, I absolutely love this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I have done, <laughs> that I have enjoyed making everything. Um, I am, however, relieved that it's done because, yeah, this has been a monster of a project. Um, so, yeah. Then, guys, I just want to also let you guys know that this will be my last video for a while. Um, I will announce everything on my Instagram stories during the week. Um, so head on over there. Give me a follow um, if you want to stay up to date. Um, but, yeah, I am taking a break from YouTube for a while. I don't know how long it's going to be um, before, but yeah, I will definitely not have a video up next week. Um, so yeah, it is very sad um, that I won't have a video, but yeah, I've just decided that I need to take a break um, because I have been dropping the ball and I feel that I have been giving you guys everything that you deserve. Um, even though this last project has been... <laughs> 
a monster and I am really proud of this project. Um, I just feel that I need some time to focus on my other projects um, that are more personal to myself and um, that I'm not going to be able to put up on this channel. Um, so yeah, so again guys, thanks for all your support. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please guys leave your comments down below if there are videos or DIYs that you would like to see in future. I am definitely coming back. <laughs> Um, I am just going to take a break for a while. Um, so yeah, leave your ideas, leave your comments down below and then I can look through those in the next couple of weeks and then come back with a bang. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want these downloads, just go in the description down below. Um, and yeah, thanks again, guys. And I hope you guys have an awesome week and I'll see you again soon.